Whoa, three letters. What are these from? I know one of them is red. From Jack. Who? Letter from Jack. On October 31st, starting at 6 p.m., the Grand Halloween Festival will begin. I want you to get your scary masks and candy ready. The masks are sold for only 1,031 bells. Here's a little gift. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot that there's a Halloween event in this game where you interact with them. Sort of similar to the one for Easter. You interact with the character, and if you give him certain things, he'll give you prizes like masks and stuff like that. Like, we got the werewolf hood here. If you put it on, yeah, that's what it looks like. But I like wearing my um, lucky clovers, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on. Who's this from? Red. Okay, yeah, typical red. All sales final, yeah, we know. So let's go ahead and grab the painting that we got from him, which was the ancient statue. Sorry, statue, not painting. From Walker. Oh, right, because, um, oh wait, no, I brought, I bought this by mistake the first time my mom sent me on the air. It's all beat up and sad looking now, so I want you to have it. I'm sure you can make it happy again. I'm very old for Walker. Really, like you're giving me your trash for Well, let's go ahead and see what it was that you gave to me. And it is Jack Hammer. Get, and I think the, this is closed, isn't it? No, it's actually open still. Wait, it's open at 6.30 at night? No, for some reason I thought the fortune teller closed at five. But hey, I might as well get my fortune told while I'm here. Very well, let me bring your star matrix into view. Have a seat. So let's see what it says for the Sagittarius today. Yeah, she's gonna do her whole chanting thing. I'm not going to read it because I can't. Ah uh -huh, yes, it has come into view. A walrus dreams of a large buffet. He never ceases to dream, and so he shall be happy. From this place, I can see the sign. So yes, I can. S I can. I see good fortune upon health. Unisex top. This item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. Okay, so if I wear a unisex top on this day, then I get extra um, points into my luck stat, which is completely invisible, by the way. Since you're already wearing a lucky item now, I think you will be fine for today. Oh, I'm already wearing a lucky item. May happiness find you and yours. And remember that bad times are just times that are bad. Oh, I didn't realize that the sharp top that I'm wearing is a unisex top. Cool. So, I'm all set for today. Then. Gotcha. I caught a bell cricket. Odd, it doesn't look like money. <laughs> I like that joke. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. Nice. I thought I heard an odd sound. I caught a cricket. That's a sticky wicket, isn't it? I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. Dude, I had the craziest thing from a friend in another town. They're actually having turf wars. Cherry wants to leave already? Turf wars? And I guess things are really heating up. I mean, what do they do? Sling turf at each other? You ever heard of anyone caring that much about turf in this town? I'm thinking we're too sheltered here. I want to get a piece of that awesome turf slinging action while it lasts, so I'm out of here. I'm moving. I'm leaving this month on the 13th. You'll see me around slinging some turf for practice, but then I'm out. Hmm. Don't do it or sling away. I'm gonna say don't do it because Cherry is pretty much brand new and I don't want her to leave yet. What? You want me to say? Well, I mean, okay, I guess. If it'll make you happy, I can stick around a while longer. What, what? <laughs> hey, brothers. Let's go ahead and submit the stuff that I have, so let's make a donation. And I'll go ahead and donate the painting, not the painting, the statue, and the two crickets I picked up. Okay, let's see what Dr. Shrunk's joke of the day is. My sneezing joke is just a thing to cure what ails you, unless what ails you is the sniffles. My grandma used to tell me that when you sneeze, it means someone is talking about you. I used to be pretty popular back in the day, so I got used to people talking about me here and there. It hasn't really happened since I retired, though. Uh, could it be that someone out there is talking about me? Uh, maybe. I think you just have allergies, though. See? They must be. Okay, we get it, Shrunk. Thanks. Uh-oh. Maybe it's my human allergies coming back again. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that to be the punchline that he's allergic to humans. 
Yep, yeah, this is the first time I've seen the sneezing joke. I don't remember that punchline. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I look forward to the new citizen that I'm going to get and their neighbors with me next. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And talk to you guys next time.